いい加減おとなしく切られやがれwelcome back to another building video everyone our commissioner today goes by the name hiccup he decided to give me the task of creating the statues in the valley of the end from naruto for his upcoming server this project was quite challenging and entertaining to create let's hop right into it so the first question of the project we need to consider is how would one go about building a statue in Minecraft? Perhaps the first answer that comes to your mind is creating a single player world and get to building. With enough work and dedication, you can do anything. While that may be true, I would like to complete this before I'm 100 years old. But that's fine, right? There's a reason Minecraft comes with helpful building commands such as slash fill. We can just use that. However, that's still a bit too long for me. Now what most of you are probably thinking, just use world edit, it's a lot faster. You could use world edit to build this, and that may be the first realistic option if you're a busy person. However, there is a more efficient way you probably haven't heard of before that I'm about to show you. Let me introduce you to an essential 3D program that I believe everyone who creates any sort of graphics or art should know. It's called Blender, and in my case I use it to model objects and convert them into Minecraft blocks. If this video gets 20 likes, I'll make a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to convert 3D statues into Minecraft for you guys. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss the video when it drops. So, we're going to start the modeling process now. I want to add a little disclaimer, uh, I made this way more detailed in Blender than it had to be. Uh, a lot of detail here did not convert to Minecraft. If you're interested in making this, you do not have to be at this level of modeling ability to make your Minecraft statues look good. So we're going to start off at the bottom, which would be the foot of the statue. At this point I didn't know how I was going to make this, so I was just thinking while doing it. The most important thing when starting a statue is having a good idea of what shape you will get. It doesn't have to look good, you just need to model a sort of skeleton for it first. Everything's looking great so far, so now it's time to create every modeler's worst nightmare. Modeling the hand. For some reason, I don't have too much trouble with hands. Once again, I overmodeled it and probably could have saved a lot of time if I just used basic cubes to build it. Now that most of the complex body parts are done, we're going to move on to the head and the hair. So Blender has this useful tool called Sculpt Mode, which allows you to pull and drag vertices on the face. And all we need to do after that is model the hair and snap it on like a Lego. Once we're finished with that, we're going to add a few touch-ups on the rest of the model, and then we're going to copy it and use a lot of the assets of course changing it to make the other model. The other model of course being the second statue in the Valley of the End, which looks a lot like the first statue that I just made. What these statues have in common is body size, armor, and weapons. The only differences are the hair and the clothes they're wearing for the most part. And just like that we finish our models. It took me about an hour and a half to make this and is much more detailed than it needs to be. We're now going to convert the 3D model into a Minecraft schematic file and paste it into a world with MC Edit to see how they turned out. It seems they turned out better than I imagined and with some minor edits required we can make the statues pop more. They're made of stone in the anime so there really isn't much texturing work to be done. We're going to add some dark prismarine in certain areas to highlight and also darken key features of the statues. 
I'm specifically targeting areas that look like they have folds or need darker spots like in between the many armor platings on their body. I'm also targeting belts and cloth-like materials. We're also changing a few facial and hand features since the hands didn't turn out quite how I wanted them. There's a few holes in the statue that we need to patch up here and there as well. After all this, I'm going to take one last look at it and then I'm going to call it a day on this project. Overall, I am quite happy with the result of this build. This has been my showcase on the best way to build giant statues in Minecraft. You can find this build on Hiccup Server, link is in the description. I'm looking to upload unique building videos at least once a week, so don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, this is Lurfing, over and out.